Hi, my name is Nambi Igbambu, and I'm a second producer on Zerlina Maxwell's news commentary show on Peacock, NBC's streaming platform. I'm Zerlina Maxwell. Today we're going to talk about what I do as a second producer and what my day-to-day -day looks like. Uh, to start, I think you have to have a good idea of what a segment is. Most news programs are divided into several blocks or segments, each about a specific topic, news story, or theme. My job is to figure out the best way to tell whatever theme, topic, or story we're talking about. By May, we'll have While an anchor or a host is in front of a camera and does the actual job of talking to viewers, I work behind the scenes to make sure they have all the tools they need to do that. I compare it to like a little mini research product every day. I mine through the day's news for the most uh, compelling information or the latest developments, and then I determine the best way to present all that information to a viewer. It goes beyond just finding actual news stories, but also looking for engaging videos or sound bites or viral moments, anything that an audience will really, really engage with. Here's a little window into how I do that every day. I start my day pretty early in the morning searching for story ideas or pitches. I try to find things that are not only interesting, but also intriguing, because typically if I read something and I have questions about it, a viewer or our audience will almost certainly have questions as well. I look at national publications like your New York Times, your Washington Post, your CNBCs, and then I also look at like local news stations um, just to get a good idea of what's going on across the country that a national publication may have missed. Once I have a couple ideas in mind, I go to my morning editorial meeting, uh, which is honestly where we run through a whole bunch of different ideas and conceptualize the show. Uh, we consider who the best guest would be for a specific segment, what sound or visual elements we have open to us, and really what a good hour of programming would look like based on that day's news. Once that's over, I get my story assignment and then I get to work. The first thing I do is outline the information I want to include in my intro, which is what an anchor reads. Beyond thinking of just how I want to write, I also think about what visual elements I can use because it's really about making sure the audience can see and understand and comprehend whatever information or story you're trying to tell them. Writing, of course, again, is absolutely huge because I kind of also have to write in a way that's conversational, that's engaging, that makes them not only want to stay throughout the rest of the segment to hear what we have to say, but also ultimately the entire show. So a couple examples of different segments I've done. Um, let's say President Biden is unveiling a new project or initiative. This country will have enough vaccine supply. Of I may try to get some sound bites from like a press conference he does to announce it and then see if any elected officials across the country, whether that's a governor or a senator or, you know, a representative has commented on it and try to add that as well to help provide context. The job boils down to bringing curiosity, concise writing, strong news judgment, strong visuals all together to create great TV. How would you describe your interactions with him? During the actual show, I watch from my live control room monitor, which is just a little screen that shows Erlina and all of our guests. The job really doesn't end until the show is completely over. So how did I land this job? It really all goes back to my alma mater, which is the University of Missouri, Columbia. Um, I was involved in my school's NABJ chapter, which is the National Association of Black Journalists. My chapter used to do um, an annual media tour, which is where we basically pick a different city to go to, then tour all of the newsrooms that are there. Um, my senior year, we went to New York and we toured CNBC. During that tour, I met a couple NBC recruiters and I decided to keep in touch. Ultimately, when I graduated, I didn't immediately have a job at CNBC. I actually worked uh, for a news network called Newsy as a writer anchor, and then I continued to work at our local NBC affiliate in Columbia, Missouri, KMU 8 News. Um, but again, I was keeping in touch, and I got word of a CNBC fellowship, just a six-month postgraduate program. I applied for that, I got selected for interviews, did a couple round of interviews, and ultimately landed the job. When I went to CNBC, I had not a faint idea of business news or business reporting. My business acumen was very, very small. But I kind of used it as an opportunity to, not, to just really learn and network. And that's what I did. When I got there, I was reading business news publications every day. I was asking questions nonstop. Looking back, I'm sure a lot of those questions made me look like an idiot, but it didn't matter because I was learning, which is ultimately the goal of it. And you know, all that really paid off. It helped me kind of think of what I wanted to do and gain a firm understanding of what I wanted my future path to look like. Um, about five months into that program, there was an opening for an associate producer on CNBC's early, early, early morning show, Worldwide Exchange. It aired every day at 5 a.m. Um, as you can imagine, uh, because the shift was from 2 a.m. to 10 a.m., 
it wasn't the most popular position. Um, but I always tell people sometimes the job that no one else wants can turn into uh, a great opportunity for someone new to the business like me um, because I offered to fill in. Um, and after doing it for a couple of weeks, uh, my executive producer at the time asked if I wanted to apply for the actual position, which I did and I got. Um, and that paid off. I, I worked as an associate producer for about a year and a half. I really kind of honed in on my producing skills. Uh, it helped me become more creative because when you're telling business news stories to keep things interesting, you have to be able to be creative. Um, and it just sort of really, really helped me refine all of my skills. About a year and a half into that, um, I applied for a job as a segment producer um, for Peacock. Um, I did interviews for it and I found that it was this kind of show that I really wanted to work for. And luckily for me, uh, I got the job. Um, so I've been at Jolina ever since, and I honestly, I, I love working for this show. Uh, we get to cover a broad range of stories. There have been plenty of long nights, and sometimes it's very challenging, but honestly, it's also exciting, and it always keeps me on my toes, because ultimately, no two days of news are ever the same. There's always something to do, something new to learn, and I love that. Um, so, you know, it's, it all worked out for me. Hard work, dedication, being willing to say yes to the shift that nobody else wants, being willing to network and just grow and get feedback has brought me here and I couldn't be any happier. Um, so that's my story. If you're interested in learning more about the different careers at NBC News, check out NBCUacademy.com for career advice, skill training, and more. For NBCU Academy, I'm Namdi Gwambu.